Alright, so we're back to Donkin Academy, which is, again, they got up a one full mode. So, yeah, it's day seven, and, and, Monko is giving us a day off, so basically, once a week, we get a day off from work, in game, so, let's do this shit. Hang out with Mondo. Huh? Wanna hang out with me? Hell yeah! Perfect. I was getting bored anyway. Let's do some fucking something fucking nuts. Let's go, bruh. I had a very exciting time with Mondo. Why don't I go a little closer today? Alright, let's do it. And I'm trying to hang out with the and note that I'm trying to hang out with the people who I haven't really gotten a chance to hang out with in the main game. So yeah. That means people like Mupro, Chiro, Mondo, Taka, people like that. I ha I haven't even hang out with. So yeah. Let's see if we oh, get to, to Mondo. Seriously, this thing is like super rare, bruh. Hell yeah! Don't mind if I do. Damn, I'm lucky as shit. Damn right, you're lucky as shit. Same one though, so pleased with something I gave him. Makes me happy. Yo! Yoko, what's your ride? Your ride. What? Damn, what? Man. Your hog. Your chopper. Your motorcycle. Uh, I'm right. <laughs> You're not a kid anymore, right? You still don't have a hog? Jesus Christ. God. You're such a fucking dweeb. Yo. Alright, man. I'm, I'm gonna educate you. The real man kicks, rides Kawasaki. Which is an actual company, by the way, you guys. Yeah, they're the same ones that make a lot of those motorcycles. And hell, some of the fucking subway train, subway cars in New York City were made under the Kazo Kawasaki brand, some of them. That's why I ride. Hell yeah! You are here, and the twins got the monster power. It's like you're dancing. Of course, it ain't just for anyone. God have the skilled handler. Must really love your monster. Stop fucking around! Hell yeah, dude. I'm a goddamn biker. And I and I were crazy as hell. Yeah, you're the leader of the biggest biker game in Japan, right? Hell yeah! Damn yeah, straight. The invisible crazy diamond game. Wanna come and ride us? The monster sounds Come, coming out of, out of that straight pipe. Hot damn. Straight pipe. What? Come on. What? You gotta know what a straight pipe is, right? It's like when something's missing, right? Pipe smoking. What? Yo. Oh, what? You're oh, fucking shit. dick. Hell yeah! My cycle doesn't have buffer, right? So you think? No. Good. Then 
that's that. Next time you ride, you ride with us. That's true. And that makes me back to when I first started riding. Yo. My big bro used to ride too, you know. His name his name's Dot Daya. Daya Mondos Gara, we were the diamond brothers. Everyone up and down the country knew us. What? What? I was always the cool one. Diamond brothers, that sound kinda incredible. By the way. The first time I went out, I ended up at the back of the pack. Eventually, the cop got on us. And they surrounded me. I was in some tough shit. Hear me? Hey, damn it! So I pulled over. But when they come, came up to me, well, let's just say it was my master. Mondo, man, you must be really strong. Stop fucking around! Of course. You can't wave the banner out of the game without some, that kind of strength. <laughs> Shit. The fight still go for the leader first. Go the leader of the pack, you know? That's why the other games come after me. So if you want to be the leader of the pack, you gotta be a tough motherfucker. Yo! You'll, you'll see what I mean when we go on the first ride. Get ready for it. Actually, maybe it's better if I don't get involved in that kind of thing. And like I said, I don't have much, a motorcycle. I don't even know how to drive one. Hell yeah! Then you can ride with me. Ryan Ramondo, but other gangs target him first, right? No, no way. Hell yeah! Hey, I said. I said, get ready for it. Damn, I am pumped. Can't wait to get out of here now. Mondo left, and apparently he's in a pretty good mood. Crap, this is bad. Even if I get out of here, I might still be in real trouble. I'm also, four crimes without David, that's not experience him. Okay. Dragon Man inside, behind me, went back to my room. Oh, you get to do it twice when you have a day off, basically. The whole free time event, twice, huh? But wait, let me see before I complete it first, though. The only ones that have completed in there, the only characters I completed were Sayaka and Kyoko, so that's it. And oh yeah, I wanted to tell you something. The star next to the characters' names means that you completed all of their free time events. And that you don't have to go back to said character. So, yeah. Yeah, let's go with Chihiro. Next. You know they seem kind of embarrassed. Turn on to look close today. Okay, First time I've ever gotten something like this. The impression that they like it. Um. If you don't hate the idea, would you like to talk to someone? Jeez. If there's anyone who can say no to someone who acts like that, I'd like to meet him. Sure, I'd love to, to learn more about you. Okay, mm. but what do you want to know? Let's see, what kind of program are you working on now? I bet you it's pretty amazing. You know? 
Oh, actually, I just started the research process for something. You remember that database software I told you about? I'm retooling it into something a little more complex. So I signed an NDA with the company that hired me. So I can't really go into, into the details. Yeah, they probably won't want the, the wrong people to hear about it, huh? Uh, I'm sorry. It's not that. I don't trust you or anything. I just made a promise, you know. Sorry. It was okay. My fault for asking about something you couldn't talk about. Mm. Oh, but maybe I can give you a little hint. I, it has to do with simulating human thoughts. They said... AI. This is def- This is foreshadowing Alter Ego, basically. It would actually make sense if it's- You know, it will mostly make sense in the main game because it foreshadows Alter Ego. Appearance. But I still like this one. You're developing some kind of artificial intelligence, aren't you? <sighs> you figured it out. Was my hint too easy? What should I do? Uh, well, the, the, I, if they find out I broke my promise, they might. Don't worry. I'm not gonna say anything to anyone. Um. Yeah, I know. I know. I trust you. Okay, I guess. Hey, bye. You know. I'm working on a type of of artificial intelligence the world has never seen before. It's what we call a strong AI. It's designed to think like a human to process any mental task we can. Strong AI. Um see the field of AI, of artificial intelligence there's a strong AI and a weak AI. Weak AI isn't meant to match human intelligence. It's simply a type of problem solving software. Weak AI isn't actually thinking. It's just executing action program into it. Strong, strong AI is on the other hand a program that can achieve true self-consciousness, whole, whole ego awareness. Mm. In other words, a strong AI is a complete entity, a computer program capable of becoming aware, but it's always just been a hypothesis. Plenty of experts don't think it's even possible. It sounds like something from a sci-fi movie, and you're working on something like that? But- Well, like I said, right now, I'm just researching it. I made lots of progress on the programming side in the intelligence development. Mm. But when it comes to actual awareness, it's still a long way off. It might even be impossible. Really? You know? Not sure how to put it, but no matter how well designed or complex a program is, no matter how closely the software can simulate the workings, a human brain of a human brain I don't think that's enough if the program is only simulating thought through it'll always be lacking something lacking. yeah well I guess you could say a soul if you could somehow pour your own soul into software maybe it then a strong AI, AI could, could be created with a soul. Mm. Yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's not a programming term. I'm not even sure how that would work on a technical level. Sorry, I forget, I forget I mentioned it. You know? Anyway, all I have right now is the theory. There's still lots of research left to do. Artificial intelligence, that sounds like a pretty tough subject. 
I'm glad I got to hear it. But um, I wasted your time on another boring topic. I must have bored you to death, huh? No, the complete opposite. It was really interesting. Huh? You mean it? Yay! Okay, next time we can talk. I want to hear about you. Well, unlike you, I am. I really am boring. <laughs> no excuses. It's your turn next time. Okay. <laughs> yeah. When they when they said it like that, I think the only way to accuse is if you're one of those soulless AI programs they mentioned. Heroes, heroes before has been updated the experience with with them. But Nighttime announcement, obviously. Need more cleaning, bruh. For real? 
It's just me. <laughs> Let me give you a little pack of cheap shit. Thanks. I thought she likes that. Hey, mm. Makoto. Can I tell you something? Let me, you and me alone. Let me, what is it? Yeah. My true intentions, huh? Mm. Be honest, I'm kind of fed up with all this. We're all ultimates, right? So we carried away and rushed face first into, into shit, basically. Even I have to wonder if it's okay to live like that. What are you, are you thinking of quitting modeling or something? Maybe it's not meant to change as you grow up, right? Hang on, where you at? Kindergarten, elementary school, junior high, high school? What can we do? But I had the same dream since I was a little kid. I've been rushing towards it since, ever since. So I never really had to think all that, that hard about my dreams. But that's wrong with, what's wrong with that? It means you still feel the same way about it, right? Yeah. That's what I used to think. But if it doesn't change, your possibilities can't grow, right? That's how new opportunities are born. Mm. And up until now, I never did that. I never let my dreams grow. All I saw was that one dream I put everything I had into one narrow little world. I feel like there's so much more I could be doing that I'm not I don't like that feeling. So I think I'm going to start looking for it. Is it childish for me to think that like that? Am I just being a baby? No, not at all. In the same way, I'm still trying to figure out what it is I want to do. And sometimes I feel like I'll never find it. Feeling like maybe I'll spend the rest of my life looking for it. But I'm not sure it's even about finding it or not finding it. Maybe it's a point thing is that you're looking for it. <coughs> oh, you, you you actually sound kind of cool just now. No, that's not what I was trying to do. Yeah. But you could be right now. Totally. Getting lost can be a good thing as long as you're looking for it. Maybe that's enough to be happy. Yeah. I'm gonna remember what you said. Thanks, McCoy. Sure. <laughs> In return, I promise that if I do decide to kill someone, it, w it won't be you. Don't say scary shit like that. <laughs> Glad I was able to talk to Mukuro because that's, again, that's who she actually is. That Sally, you can't hang out with the actual Junko. Again. But like, maybe we finally became friends in the truest form sense of the world. Seriously? Before I could do that, what he said, I gotta get out of here first. So I, I'm definitely gonna find out how to get out. Maybe if she starts yelling at nobody about how to get out. You find a way. Yes, well, I guess it's okay. You can do things to, however she wants. Muko's report has been updated based on you. The experience with her. Lots of skill, charisma. Usual nighttime announcement. Oh, I can I completed quote unquote Junko's report card. Okay. 
aka Muko Ikisaba disguise as Shinzo. So, yeah. So, I don't have to do hers anymore. So, yeah. Let's see you next time. See ya.